I'm not the biggest fan of it, but how many times do you go out there and match and see you guys lock up in a collar tie? Quite often, right? It's not as bad as the ear to ear, but still, collar ties are not that fun, okay? So, um, this one's just a short. Okay, guys, gonna collar tie against you here. All right, what I, what I like to do when a guy collar ties on me, sometimes you get those strong guys that you just can't really get any. All right, so if I'm wrestling coach and he's really pulling down on this collar tie and he's really strong, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my outside hand, and I'm gonna take my outside hand, and I'm gonna put, place it right in the crotch of his um, elbow right here, right in the crotch of this elbow. Okay, once I come here, I'm gonna pull down on it, okay, and I'm gonna put a lot of pressure on his shoulder. I'm not trying to break his shoulder or anything, I'm just trying to get good, solid pressure here. Okay, I'm gonna get good, solid pressure here, and that's gonna make him feel uncomfortable. Okay, when he feels uncomfortable, he's either gonna back off and get out of the collar tie, or he's gonna try and just outmuscle the unwrestle. Okay, we're hoping that he tries to stay in here and outmuscles it, because I'm gonna show you a pretty cool series where we can score from some different spots. Okay, so, we got a guy who collar ties on us. I put my hand in the crotch of the elbow, crotch of the elbow, pull it down, make it uncomfortable for him. Okay, first thing I'm gonna do, option A we'll call. It's gonna be a single leg, okay? A single leg to the side that I got my, uh, my arm pins going, okay? Pull it down, I'm gonna try and get this leg to circle towards me, how do I do that? I circle, right? Movement creates movement, slow feet don't eat. We gotta move our feet if we want him to move his feet, okay? So I got pressure on his shoulder here, I'm gonna start circling, he's gonna start moving. When he moves, I'm gonna take my free hand and I'm gonna just real lightly pop his elbow, boom. When I come here, now, real simple. I'm gonna keep my head up and just shoot, shoot your standard single leg. Boom. Okay, and I talked a little bit with the last group about this. I'm a huge believer in this. A lot of people will get here, we'll do a good job, we'll keep our head up, and we'll instantly come up to our feet, and we'll try and just muscle this leg up. Right? A lot of people do that. Remember, we wanna take off like an airplane, not a helicopter. Okay? Coach here's got some strong legs. He puts all his weight on this, why in the world would I just try and lift that up? That's hard. That's hard. Put all your weight on that, coach. But really, if I just transfer the weight to his other foot, his foot comes up no matter what. So, that being said, when he's got all his weight here and he's battling against me, all I got to do is create movement and then bring the leg up. Push into him and then bring the leg up. Now it's no problem. Right? Move that weight. Don't let him put all his weight here. Don't make it hard for you. Work smarter, right? Transfer the weight and then pick the leg up. Easy stuff. Okay, all together now. Guy collar ties real hard on me. Right in the right in the crotch of the elbow. Pressure down, creating some movement here. Boom, bam. Good position here. Taking off like an airplane, Pick, or uh, driving into him. Pick it up, finish it, however you want. Okay, any questions? All right, awesome.